SRK refuses Deepika's offer. Aishwarya confirms Durga Rani Singh. Ranveer gets emotional about Befikra. Impias to choose between Amir and SRK. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin and you and I have a date today on 9xc.com the show. I'm hot, you're not. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. So things often get complicated when a senior actor is challenged openly and especially by someone he mentored. Safe to say that Shah Rukh Khan and Deepika Padukone's equation is super dicey right now. Deepika made an attempt to smooth things over by inviting SRK to the launch of her foundation Live Love Laugh. And what did King Khan do? SRK responded saying that he could just not make it. Just like that. No reasons given. Sure he's out of town, but really, kya Shah Rukh apne dosto ke liye thoda vag bhi nahi nikal sakte? There have been many times when he has flown down especially to make appearances for his friends. So is Park you know? Do we assume that King Khan is not in the mood to let bygones be bygones? With Charuk's refusal to accept it because Olive Branch seems that things are only going to get worse between the two and to think that it all began purely due to professional reasons. Charuk's film Dilwale clashes at the box office with Deepika's Bajra Mastani on 18th December. Deepika had requested Charuk to change the dates but buzz is that he told her he would consider it if she asked him on social media. Instead of making this request on social media, Deepika's post read challenge accepted. Only one thing, she soon deleted it. So you see how this professional rivalry has become extremely personal. However, it's not really Deepika's doing. Yes, I know that now the fight is between Charuk and Deepika, but what if we tell you Deepika is only a pawn in this game? So kiske beech hai asli fight? It's between Shah Rukh and the Lullahs who own Eros, the producers of Bajra Mastani. And Deepika is being used as the go-between. SRK and the Lullahs first locked horns over the failure of their joint venture Ra1. It only got worse when Shah Rukh's Jabda Ke Jaan clashed with Son of Sardar which was produced by Eros. So poor Deepika is forced to fight a war that's not really hers. But in a bid to please the producers, has she burnt bridges with Shah Rukh who gave her her Bollywood debut? We hope not. But what we are hoping for is the next piece of news to come true. Now it's common knowledge that most women love chick flicks and I'm totally one of them. So this cover has got me super excited. Buzz is that Anil Kapoor's younger daughter Ria is turning director and her directorial debut will be a chick flick. This should not come as a surprise after all Ria produced the high on estrogen Aisha and Khubsurat. However, the surprising bit is a cast she's hoping to put together. Ria ki film mein badi behan Sonam to hai hi lekin uske saath Ria cast karna chahti hai teen aur leading ladies ko. And who are these women? Well, apparently they are Katrina Kaif, Anushka Sharma, and Huma Qureshi. The movie is said to be a journey of four women and will be along the lines of Zindagi Na Mili Ki Dobara. Now, if this comes through, I'm going to be talking about it a lot. Why can I sign on a petition to make this happen? But moving on, what do you gift a man who has it all? Well, search for something that he still wants and get it for him. This might be simple for everyone else concerned, except for superstar of the millennium Amitabh Bachchan, who recently celebrated his 73rd birthday. 9xc.com brings you the 10 unfulfilled wishes of the Shaheen Shah of Bollywood and like every time we share it with his fans. Top of the list of unfulfilled wishes is his wife Jaya Bachchan's wish to see him play the role of Peter O'Toole in the classic Beckett. Peter O'Toole played the role of Henry II. Of course, someone would need to make that movie again, but you never know. Next on his list is his ambition to build a center for literature, poetry and theater in Allahabad, Bhopal or Delhi, which would be dedicated to his late father Hari Vansh Rai Bachchan. Another ambition that he has related to his father is to tour the world reciting his father's poems such as the epic Madhushala. Maybe that's one of the ones that's not completely out of the realms of possibility. What does that mean? Well, we'll keep you posted on that. The creative person 
that Amitabh is, he also sometimes thinks about spending more time on painting and photography. He had once painted an abstract that resembled a blazing sun and photographed wildlife a long, long time ago. He also wishes to learn how to play the sitar. The man's acting appetite is insatiable. Another addition to the list is his ambition to work with Nasruddin Shah. He was in talks with Sujoy Ghosh to work with Nasruddin, but the project didn't take off. Amitabh also wants to pay more attention to the booming TV business, which many would agree his stint in KBC was responsible for, and also take up more challenging roles. Buzz is that Amitabh has a soft spot for the dialogues of the Oliver Stone scripted JFK, the docudrama made on the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Now, Amitabh was one of the first Indian celebrities to embrace technology, and his Twitter account might be one of the most active ones when it comes to celebrities. And going back to material things, this senior actor had once wanted to buy a cruiser to holiday with his family. He went as far as to begin shopping, but gave up on the idea after a little while. But Amitabh himself wants to become more technologically savvy and keep on updating his computers and apps. And to top it all, he wants to avoid controversies and hostile interviews that paint him in a bad light. Well, that's a huge wish list for the actor, but we're sure some people are already working things out to fulfill at least some part of the list, right? Anyway, here's wishing the actor a happy birthday and many, many more to come. Coming up, Aishwarya confirms Sujoy's Durga Rani Singh. Imtiaz Ali to decide between Shah Rukh and Amir. After that break, you have joined us on 9xc.com The Show. Aishwarya Rai Bachchan has every reason to celebrate. She's been praised in her comeback film Jazba, directed by Sanjay Gupta, and critics have been raving about her and her power pack performance. But she isn't taking it easy. Aishwarya has Karan Johar's Ae Dil Hai Mushkil and Oman Kumar's biopic on Sarabjit Singh, where she is playing Dalbir Kaur. Sujoy Aishwarya se mile te for two films, The Devotion of Suspect X or Durga Rani Singh. According to reports, the first film has been shelved, however, Durga Rani Singh is very much on. So that makes three strong films after her smashing comeback. Ae Dil Hai Mushkil, the Sarabjit Singh biopic and Durga Rani Singh. Is it too early to label this comeback a huge success? We don't think so. However, many of Aishwarya's counterparts have not been as successful. Madhuri Dixit left the industry while at the top of her game. She did make a comeback in 2007 with Aja Nachile, but the film failed miserably. Then, in 2014, she starred in Deir Ishkia, which did justice to her talent, but not so much for her career. She also lost her judging gig on Jalak Diklaja. Another leading lady who attempted a comeback was Karishma Kapoor. After a very successful career, Karishma tried returning to the silver screen in Dangerous Ish, which was, well, the less said about it, the better. Preeti Zinta ruled Bollywood with her dimpled grin, but she lost her charm when she starred in her disastrous comeback vehicle, Ishq in Paris, which she also produced. So it's safe to say that Aishwarya planned her comeback with great care and isn't planning to make any wrong moves. We think Jazba's director Sanjay Gupta deserves a pat on the back for not letting Ash down. The supremely talented duo of Salim and Suleiman have lent their musicality to the film Wedding Pulau. 9xc.com The Show had an exclusive chat with them on the music of the film. There was a lot of scope for songs. We had, uh, there's love songs, there's Judai, there's, uh, of course, the wedding, there's party. So there's a lot of sequences where we, we felt that we could do a lot with the music. We keep trying and we keep experimenting till we can better it. When we don't have our taste, when we don't have our taste, we don't have our taste. Until we so Ojaniya was the first song and his song was so good in that song. That, you know, right, we, we hit bullseye and uh, after that, every song was the it just went like a breeze. We don't consider ourselves different from each other. Uh, you know, if I'm Salim, ki tarha, Salim Merchant, hoon, to it's always Salim Suleiman. You know, I don't have a Facebook page nahi hai, na to Suleiman ka koi Facebook page. Hai. We, we still go as Salim Suleiman. We also, the, the way we 
taken over certain aspects of making music uh, we never interfere in each other's paths unless it's sitting down on the core level once the core level is over then Salim is doing parts I am doing different parts and together it's a well oiled machinery moving on to our next story Bollywood superstars show eccentric behavior, but none of them as dangerous and possibly lethal as what Pooja Mishra just said. Who's Pooja, you ask? Well, a former Big Boss contestant and consistent rabble rouser, Pooja has been in the news for all the wrong reasons after Big Boss 5. On Monday, a video surfaced of Pooja assaulting customers in a leading mall in Karol Bag, Delhi. Pooja was in the news earlier after a video of a previous assault made its way online. Pooja has seen kicking, slapping, and not to mention spewing a barrage of abuse words that make the censor board work double time. The video has someone speaking about gunfire and shooting. Authorities later told a section of the media that Pooja pulled a gun following a heated argument with customers. 9XC.com told you earlier about how Pooja assaulted innocent employees of Taj Vivanta. Is Pooja just someone who loses her mind at the drop of a hat? It's high time someone gave Pooja a taste of her own medicine. Talk to my hand. Coming up, 9XC's exclusive interview with the cast of Pyar Ka Panchnama 2. Imtiaz Ali to decide between Shah Rukh and Amir. Welcome back to 9XC.com, the show, your source for everything Bollywood. Pyar Ka Panchnama 2, the sequel to the smash hit Pyar Ka Panchnama, releases this week and 9XC.com The Show caught up with the entire cast. Join us as we talk to the crew about how love has been an interesting ride for all of them. Breakups, romantic outings and a lot more. It's all here in this interview. I think even in the first part, the stories and the problems were different because all three girls were different and um, the premise of all of those relationships were different. In reality also, no, when we ha are in a relationship, people think uh, uh, they are not able to say things. So that's the gist of the thing that we are saying. We are showing that thing in Pyar Ka Panchnama ki yaar, this is our problem and this is your problem too. Yeah, these are the uh, small, small things like like asking for a password. That's your personal thing. Why do you ask for a password? Oh, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, even in uh, Panchnama one, I didn't. Uh, I don't think either of us uh, connected or related to the character, and we definitely don't think we are that evil. Coming from our personal life, definitely there were experiences that we could recall to uh, use it in our performances while even performing actually. So when there was a, uh, uh, you know, there were a couple of scenes where sir said that, you know, this is the time or ladki aisi baat karti hai, so jab wo ladki aisi baat karti hai, to aapko kaise lagega? Well, haan, ye to mujhe pata hai kaise laga tha mujhe, so I'll just do that. But I got uh, mails like uh, from the guys, कि यार मेरी लाइफ बचा ली या कुछ लोगों के ऐसे आए थे हम दो लोग देखने गए थे फिल्म और निकले अलग अलग तो ऐसे बहुत आए थे कि लड़का लड़की अलग निकल गए ब्रेकअप करके I was like I wanted to hide my face and go under the seat because I was like I also do that sometimes as much as I hate to admit it but some of the things I can say I shared an experience. I had a crush in college, so I was waiting for her like for two hours in an ice cream parlor. And she said like I'm in a dance rehearsal, so I'm meeting sometime, but she couldn't make it. Uh, then I was crossing the road, going home. वो किसी और के साथ bike पे निकली. I think just be very very uh, 
सिंपल एंड ऑनेस्ट विद देम आई थिंक दैट वर्क द बेस्ट दे ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज दे रीड यू मोर देन यू कैन रीड दैम सो आई थिंक सो रोमांस कम्स इन द मोस्ट लिटल लिटल थिंग्स ऑब्वियसली दोज यॉर्ट्स एंड द फ्लैम बॉइन रोमांस इज देयर बट या दैट्स गुड ऑल्सो बट न लिटल लिटल थिंग्स लिटल जेस्टर्स टूवर्ड्स योर पार्टनर makes them feel special moving on to our next story alia bhat is only 4 films old and yet she's managed to capture the entire nation's attention her choice of roles has been varied and along with that her on screen looks as well 9xc.com the show takes a look at alia's most buzzworthy movie costumes Befitting her role as a spoiled girly girl in her debut student of the year alia wore baby doll dresses and short shorts however the look that stood out was the one from the song radha Her pink and silver lehenga became the envy and dream of every teenage girl. Alia's look was the other end of the spectrum in Highway. Designer Akina Rula saw second-hand clothes and shopped at roadside stores, and that's how Alia came to wear a flared skirt, leggings, and a dupatta. In her next release, Shandar, we'll see Alia in a bright pink bikini. The movie has yet to hit theaters but there is already so much buzz about how stunning Alia looks in a two piece and who are we to say otherwise Moving on to our next story and here's an update on the cast of Befikra the next directorial venture of Aditya Chopra 9xc.com told you that Ranveer Singh was confirmed for the male lead in Befikra This confirmation was done via an online video that YRF posted Vani will share screen space with the Gunde star Well, flamboyant Ranveer confirmed his signing up for the movie with an emotional selfie video earlier as well. Will this duo be able to create the magic Ranveer did with Anushka Sharma in Band Baja Bharat? Well, time will tell, guys. Moving on to our next piece, when you think Imtiaz Ali, you think about up and coming actors getting their roles of a lifetime and them being catapulted into fame. Seems Imtiaz is all set to have a change of plans at the way he's casting for his movies. The buzz is that Imtiaz is keen on roping in one of the Khans for the movie. Amir Khan or Shah Rukh Khan, that is the question. Well, with the kind of success Imtiaz has to his credit, roping in any of the two won't be difficult. Sharuk the King Khan has already met Imtiaz and we here is keen on working with him. But with his current projects like Dilwale, Raiz and Fan already underway, schedules might be an issue. And Amir who is well known to undertake only one project at a time will have plenty of time on his hands after Dangal. Well, you know what they say, jab tak final nahi hota tab tak kuch keh nahi sakte. Who is going to sign on the dotted line in the end? Let's wait and watch. And that's all we have for you on this episode of 9xc.com the show, but for more Bollywood news on the go, download the 9xc app for iOS and Android. To get the latest news in Bollywood, visit our website 9xc.com. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com/9xc and also on Twitter at 9xc the show. You can also get all our complete episodes on our YouTube channel. I'll see you guys on Friday. Ciao for now.